What's up guys? Let's go and follow the blood through the heart, through its chambers, through its vessels, through its valves. And so deoxygenated blood is going to return to the heart via the inferior and superior vena cava. I like to shorten them as IVC and SVC respectively. It's going to start in the right atrium or the RA. And I guess right off the bat, if you want to separate the top half from the lower half, I think of alphabetically, it starts with A at the top and then goes down to V at the bottom. And so the atria are at the top, the upper chambers, and then the ventricles are the lower chambers. And so it's going to start on the right atrium. And when you're describing anatomy on a piece of paper or on another patient, we're looking at it from their perspective. So your left is their right. I hope that makes sense. So it's going to go in the right atrium, and then it's going to go through the tricuspid valve. And there's two main, four, four main valves, but the two hardest ones are the tricuspid and bicuspid valve. When I went, when I learned it, I learned it as you try before you buy. So tricuspid valve before the bicuspid valve. Okay, I hope that helps. So tricuspid valve into the left, um, or sorry, into the right atrium. So R A tricuspid valve, right ventricle. The right ventricle is going to push that blood through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery. And for arteries and veins, I want you to think away for artery, A for away, A for artery. And so away from the heart, it's taking blood away from the heart. A trick question could be um, which artery in the body is the only artery that carries deoxygenated blood and the pulmonary artery is the answer to that and so it's going to go to the lungs on both sides and pick up some oxygen and unload some carbon dioxide and it's going to return back to the heart via the pulmon pulmonary vein into the left atrium down the bicuspid valve down into the left ventricle, and typically if it's anatomically correct, the left ventricle is the largest chamber. It has the most amount of muscle mass because it needs so much, it needs to generate so much force to push that blood to the rest of the body. Okay, so that's why the left chamber is the largest. It's going to push it through the aortic valve, through the aorta, to the rest of the body. I hope that helps. Let me know what's been the most helpful.